Dan here. Oh, empty DD Speed Shop. So, did a little bit of clean up in here, obviously. So I keep saying, I keep saying, spring's coming. And that's what they tell me. But uh, for now, we're still dealing with some rough weather. But there was one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to finish off here. We're turning the heat off, no point in heating the outside. Um, this Ford truck. So this 79 Ford, I bought it, uh, oh, a month ago, two months ago, something like that. We went through it, kind of fixed up a little bit. It, we'll call it a really sympathetic, uh, it's snowing. You see the snow? We call it a restoration, we'll call it a refurbishment. Just making ourselves a workhorse. So went through the front end, it was all decent. I do have to actually, one brake line is not happy, so I got to go through that. We had all the lights work, we got it running, we did some exhaust work, we did, like I said, rockers. What else did I do? Or uh, cab corners? I kind of forget. Anyway, oh yeah. All this was covered in snow. That's where I keep my tools, under the snowbank. Anyway, um, if you're here for Ford content, I hate to tell you, this is going to take a bit of a back seat in the short term. The plan with this, finish it up, and it's probably going to go in storage for the next month or so, because, like I said, it is spring. <laughs> spring but uh, that means we got to get that 57 hard top kind of mostly done uh, I really have a lot to do on that Camaro that's important but more importantly oh dogs are outside I want to bring my black nomad home I want to drive the wheels off that thing I put that blower on it last year right at the end of the season I want to drive that thing so bad I feel like I'm 16 all over again and I just can't wait to get my car home so we have to make room also the blue nomad I always feel like an asshole when I talk about having two nomads, but uh, that has to come home as well because I left that at a, it runs and drives, but it needs to be finished up, inspected, and so it can be driven this summer. So that means if two cars are coming home, I'm trying to be a good neighbor and two cars are going, which means this one's going to storage and probably uh, my black two-door sedan. I drive that thing all the time, but once the weather switches and uh, I can that can go away and the black nomad can come home, that's the plan. Now, let's see this thing. I had it run earlier, so it should just fire right up. But it's uh, going in the garage. Oh yeah, we'll just let it warm up for a minute. I'll tell you why. So why is this pile of hot garbage inside? <sighs> Spring. <sighs> anyway, it needs a tune-up. Uh, we gotta go through the carburetor. I gotta put the air filter and all that sort of stuff in. I said I gotta go through the back brakes, gonna bleed them again. I don't know what the issue is. They're not quite happy. Um, but but what's happening, which is gonna be fun, my buddy Joe, traveling sign painter, he's gonna come by and we're lettering this thing up. So I have some ideas. He's gonna have a little bit of artistic freedom. I, I'm not gonna lie, I hate, I hate the shop truck look, but <laughs> I'm making a shop truck out of it. So we're, we're gonna take our own little spin on it and kind of do whatever, but it's not gonna be uh, like a service rig. People aren't gonna be like, oh, I'll call this number. It's not like that kind of truck. It's just gonna be my name on it, and I'm gonna put some stuff on it that says, if you have this for sale, email me because I'll buy it and I'll come with this pile of junk truck and take it away. And hopefully you old nostalgic boys will be like, oh, look at this young kid just struggling to make it through life. And he's got this old 79 Ford, probably don't have a lot of money, you know, all that sort of stuff. You can't even afford a haircut, which I mean, most of that's true, actually. Uh, and I'll get a good deal on, you know, those, uh, you know, rock crusher four speeds and, uh, you know, 427 big block Chevys. That's the plan. Unfortunately, um, the way it's going to work out is Joe is going to come by tomorrow during the day. And uh, unlike those big successful YouTubers, I still have one of them pesky day jobs that really gets in the way of my free time. So I'm going to put it in the shop. We're going to let it warm up. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to go to work, leave the garage open, and hopefully he'll come by and do whatever the hell he wants. Um, I gave him a little bit of my 
I wouldn't say direction, thoughts. And uh, you know, I want a few little things here, a little match the pinstripe, because as much as it's beat up, this blue pinstripe, I love for some reason. So there you have it. Oh, and if you want to see a nice Ford truck, I hear the, what's the name? Vice Grip Garage, he built one apparently. So maybe go check him out. But uh, for me, we're gonna go ahead and slap this thing together, do a little bit of love to it, and uh, do, do a little love, whatever. And uh, you'll see it in storage. That's the plan for this video. So actually it's not really a whole lot of work for me. <laughs> it's like vacation. I'll be in another garage working on the Camaro if you need me. Okay, so it's like a couple of days later, Joe, traveling sign painter as always he's been here working while i was at the day job and uh all this was basically his idea so i didn't want a big banner on the side of the door so we did like a small dd speed shop which it actually kind of worked out because the way this ford is it's got this goofy kind of body line so you got to keep it down low which i liked and then i think this was my idea we buy junk or was it yours i forget I wanted something. All was my idea. All of it was Danny's idea. So <laughs> we buy junk, old cars, old trucks, and parts. And then we just put the uh, dspeechup.ca. So that way anybody seeing this old truck, feeling bad for us and wanting to support us, they can go there and sell us their junk. So that's the plan. So we're going to let this thing probably dry overnight. I want to go through the brakes. And then ultimately this thing is going to go sit in storage. So it will become weathered like the rest of the truck. Also, Joe told us that someone that watched the videos contacted him so they painted his garage door as letters. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so there you go. I charged him. Don't worry about it. It was free. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So that's that. So we'll let this set up and then I'll be back out later. We'll go through the back brakes, clean all the junk out of it, take this thing for a ride. I love it. I think it looks, it's like Uncle Jesse meets Cooter from <laughs> like Dukes of Hazard. And it's like the truck that would be like out front of Merv's, the uh, local pick and pull. You know what I mean? I love it. I don't it. know what any of that is. Neither do I. Supper time. <laughs> Dan here, D Speed Shop. Dan here, new day, D Speed Shop. So it's been a couple days since Joe painted this hot rod. But it's basically all done. I was supposed to wash it and wipe it all down. We had some like chalk marks or whatever. And I said I was going to do it, and I, of course, didn't. So we bled the brakes again. There's bloodbath on the, the garage floor. So the plan is now, um, I mean, this thing is kind of going to be on pause for a little bit. So we're going to put her in storage. Um, ultimately, there's not a whole lot more to do this thing other than, I mean, it needs a tune-up. It needs like plugs, wires, and all that, but we're not doing that today. And just in the spring, summer, we're still snow on the ground. Um, put some miles on it, feel it out, see what we want to do with it. Make sure it's, you know, roadworthy and all that, but it seems okay. So it's going to go in storage, and in turn, we're bringing home that blue Nomad. I've been, I've been dreaming of it. It's at, uh, it's at Murs, and that, they're coming home right away, so it has to go to his garage. So we're going to go pick that up. So Danny's got the fire, or the uh, fire truck. Am I buying a fire truck? Tow truck. So she's going to follow me to storage in case this thing craps out, because we've only just taken it minor around the block a few times. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go get that fine Chevy Nomad and drive that home. So it's a little bit more car Tetris. We should get a trailer, live in the country. No, screw around all the time. That's hot rodding. So let's get on the road and hopefully we'll just have a nice, easy drive there. And if not, we'll have a nice, easy tow there. We have all the equipment needed. All right, let's hit the road, darling. The vine. Up for them? the vine got me. Oh yeah, you want to hear some revving? Except I got the microphones. It doesn't run good. I'm not gonna lie, but it does run. Ugh. Oh yeah. Let's roll. Well, we're on the road. Danny, of course, missed the absolute first light. Oh, inspection guys. We're just driving a Ford truck though. It actually rides nice. It, it'll exhaust a little loud, but uh, I feel like I sit high in it. I don't know. I guess I don't need the sun visor down, but I feel like I sit high. The brake light, it goes on and off. I don't know. The brakes feel okay. I bled them again. I don't know. Maybe it's got a bad master or maybe it just really needs to be bled all the way through again. I don't know. It seems 
drive straight. Steering wheel's crooked, but it shifts. What else is there not to want but an old Ford truck? I gotta say, I built this thing so I thought we put that Cummins motor in it. It actually rides nice. Um, this might be a little, a little tight to take on long road trips, and the door rattles. You guys all told me to put a piece of PEX or something like that on the striker, but you know what I did with that information? I filed it away. We'll use it some other time. But yeah. So I guess we'll just kind of keep rolling, see where we end up. Turn on the heat, maybe some tunes. Oh yeah. She's a runner. It just died, which is not good. Oh, what's going on here? Come on, baby, a little bit further, a little further. Oh, why? Just, just get out of the road. <laughs> Oh, we're so close. Hopefully Danny sees this. What the hell happened there? Is it just happy now? Doesn't seem happy. We have a fueling issue. Shit. Hopefully Danny sees us somewhere. Ah, see this? This is why we have a tow truck. Sure looks good. And we're in probably the worst spot for it to die. This is like a busy... I had to limp it. it was, the neutral safety works, so I had to like fire it up and just barely run, then smack in gear just to get off to the side. But 
No one cares about my safety, so we're towing it the wrong way. Super heavy, truck sacked out. Whatever. Hot rods, but just want to put one strap on it. We'll get off the bridge. Yeah. Make it just a... No, this isn't the best place to be. So we'll get uh, we'll get off the road and we'll put lights and stuff on it up there. Just put one strap on the non-traffic side and get out of here. Let's roll. <sighs> well, so I don't know what happened. It just, it's got a fueling issue, which is weird. I changed the carburetor, it kind of went away, but uh, must have a bad fuel pump or something. I don't know what, but anyways, this thing is sacked out having a three quarter ton on the thing. It's, it's right way down, <laughs> but we're so close to where it's gotta be anyways. We're just gonna strap it, throw the lights on the back and we'll, We'll drive there gingerly and deal with this another day, as it turns out, because maybe we'll come back and we'll revive and drive it or something like that. You know, the truck really does say we buy junk. And it ain't lying. It ain't lying. I guess we could have done. I don't even think I did a test drive. I mean, it must have a bad fuel pump. It's just, uh, so it kind of goes and kind of doesn't, just runs out of, it is clearly out of fuel is what the problem is. Yep, I did, and I think the gas gauge works. I put a 20, or like a five gallon deal in it, so that's all it should need I mean, for the amount we've been driving it. What does this one have? hit the signal. Good. Yep. So I'll throw out slap sleep chains on it and we'll drive slow because this thing is s -s sacked out. <laughs> also, I'm Safety. What did you just do? Did I hit the car when I backed in or just came close? I might have been a little overzealous. Oh, you hit it. Which one? Just a bit. Just on the bumper. What's going on here? So, this thing, it had a, it ran out of fuel there like for a while. I changed the carb and I cleaned the, the fuel line and all that. I thought maybe it just had like a, a hole in the fuel line that like lost its prime or something, but I also looked, I had the hood popped. I noticed there was oil all out of the uh, fuel pump. So I guess the fuel pump is no good, but oh well. Should have got a trailer. So we'll dump this thing here for now <laughs> and then come back and order a fuel pump fix her all up she'll be cheery you can really feel it on the the truck towing it this way she's a little she's a little front end light but we made her it was a safety thing we're all about safety here, DD Speed Shop. What is this thing's good? Yep. Whoops. Look at that. 
Everybody needs a tow truck. Everybody. Whoops. How bad is it going to hit it? Really? It's not even fun if it's not going to hit it. Kind of mad at it. You know, I just spent all that money getting it painted. We buy junk. And as it turns out, we buy total junk. So, you know, Ford truck, Ford battery. Found on road dead. Oh, I can only imagine. I tell you, yeah. Fix a repair daily. I wonder what Danny's going to do on the thumbnail for this one. Ugh. Okay, another set of keys to lose. Found on road dead. Again. <laughs> Again. Did it break down the first time? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe the Nomad will run it. I can just drive that home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we couldn't even find the keys for it, so hopefully they're in it. Oh, hassle. All right. Let's hit the road. Hey, look, a Bricklin. Okay, so now we'll see. Hummer must have got a hitch. Or somebody did. Um, are the keys in it? Yes. Okay. I told you. Is there a battery in it? If this thing runs and drives, I'm driving her home. Oh, it has a battery. Oh, it's an oldie. Oh, yeah, it's got a new carburetor on it. This thing needs some hood springs. Gentle. What do you think? God, this is such a nice car. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's got a fire extinguisher in it. Ooh, the transmission's stiff. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What a car. Am I going to run over anything? I think the exhaust is hanging off. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Really all I want to do is fire it up and back it out. Now I can carry on with my life. All right, we'll let this warm up. Well, I guess we got to turn everything around because you can't back out the driveway. Nope. All right, well, we'll see you on the ride home. On the breakdown on the way home, two for two. Okay. This thing, the transmission kind of sticks. I don't think it's worn out. I think it's literally just sticky. It needs to be lubricated, but so we can get out of here and some rattling. See you on the road. First gear, second gear. Oh yeah, we're turning right here anyways. Whoops, I should have started filming a little earlier. Roll into this. Yeah, this car's nice. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I forgot. First gear was not synchronized. My mistake. Sorry, girl. Don't break down on me. Oh, this snow and ice and salt. Let me just hit all the salt here. <laughs> oh, this is such a nice car. I really wish I could afford to keep it. Just like that, made her home. Put this thing in the old garage.
All right, I think I'll make it in the garage. Think it'll start again? This, I'm just throwing it out there, but the old piece of junk Chevrolet made her. But that Ford, maybe the commenter's right. Yeah. Oh God, is this car nice. So quiet. Uh, okay. I thought the door was going to hit this drawer. No, no, I knew what I was doing. And if I didn't, we'd have, we'd have polished her out. Oh, there's a Tri-5 hubcap. So, now that this thing is home, let me just disconnect this before I forget. So when we put this thing away, oh, it's got a brand new alternator on it. Oh, the plug wires are sitting on the exhaust. Oops. Um, I don't know what I did to this thing. It's got a brand new booster on it. So, we bought this thing literally the, the first day it snowed. This thing, I went and looked at it the day before at an auction. The next day it snowed. The day after that, we owned it. Visa, actually a mix of Visa and MasterCard owned it, believe it or not. At the auction, let you pay by <laughs> credit card. That was a dangerous one. Um, brought home, I put full floor, well, I patched together floors, which was a unbelievable amount of work. But I did that. We put the interior back in, new carpet. It has, I believe I dropped the front end with uh, drop spindles, disc brakes. And I don't think I put drop blocks in it, but I wanted to drop the, the rear end, do drop blocks in it, drop it down a couple inches. I put these steel wheels and hubcaps on it, which I just love the look of. And uh, I mean, it's a 327. It's a three-speed calm shift with overdrive. And it's a friggin' 55 Nomad. But what it needs now is the brakes finished. I think I just tied into the existing back brakes, so I gotta run new lines there. Um, I don't know if I put a new fuel tank in this one or not, I forget. The gas gauge isn't working. It just needs a lot of, you know, whatever. Once over here and there, I actually did buy a wiring harness for it. I don't know, well, I'll try five one. Whether it goes in this or not, I'm not too sure. Get the wipers working, kind of little odds and ends. And uh, yeah drive it a little bit but there you have it today was a bit of all well, this video was a bit of a weird one going from ford trucks to ford trucks breaking down to 55 chevy nomads the most expensive nicest car i've ever owned didn't let me down thanks for watching please leave a comment below hopefully you guys are into some nomad content because it's coming and uh i think it's dinner time and i'm back in the other shop sanding a camaro Ugh. see you on the next one